All right, this is Tim Figley with YSN here with Owen Uriachi, player profile for the Bulldogs. Owen is a two-time EOAC Player of the Week, and we're only in week three so far. Yep. So tell us about what's been going on so far, what position you play, offense and defense, a little bit about yourself here. Uh, offensively, I'm a quarterback, defense. I just recently switched to inside linebacker, so that's going right now. Just started there last week. So you, so you switch from? Outside to inside. Outside to inside, mm -hmm. and tell us what, what that's been like for you. Uh, I like it a lot better being inside the box. Uh, I, not a whole lot more running for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah. that's what I'm looking forward to, just going there smacking some people around. So you had your first week playing inside? Yeah, this uh, last week was. Last week was? Yeah. And what was that like different? I mean, was was there? did you notice a difference? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I got more breaks. Uh, Cause we got a good inside linebacker core. We got three dudes so we can rotate in each okay. or each uh, yeah possession. That's what we did. Gotcha, gotcha. So tell us about these first three weeks. Two and one record. I don't know yeah. what you were expecting, mm. but you, you have a couple good wins under your belt. Um, tell us about how that first game went. Uh, we'll start there. Yeah, you know, week one we came out, watched like coach said, watched film all summer, mm -hmm. uh, prepared for that all summer, talked about it. Going into that week, obviously a little nervous. First game of senior year, hoping to be a good game. Came out, they scored first, you know, told everyone to keep their heads up, came out, responded. Right. It was a battle for a right. while, and then we just pulled away. Yeah. There's a lot of plays that you end up keeping the ball. Hmm. I mean, tell is, it, is that a, a choice? Is that the play call? Is that maybe either one? You know, because we see quarterback keepers quite a bit or run pass option or that hmm. type of thing. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, more of play calls. Mm -hmm. uh, this. Okay. Recently, we've done more read options and stuff, but in the first few weeks, it's been uh, play calls. Yeah. Do you prefer to run? Do you like passing? I like running the ball. Yeah, okay. yeah it's pretty fun. But in week one, you had some pretty long passes. Yeah, yeah. You know, hit RJ a couple of times. Had some twice. Yeah. So, so tell us about. You know, it seemed like your at least long passes were more accurate. Oh yeah. Than last year. Uh yeah, that I give that to off season. Uh, come in the weight room, I got stronger. So the ball feels a lot lighter this year. I feel like I have more control of it. And I think it helps that run the ball up the middle so much. Everyone loads the box. And then we have outside guys, skilled guys real quick. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about your receiving core. Uh, we got RJ May, obviously, breakout year last year. Uh, Terry Morrow, he's a solid kid. Always works his butt off. Uh, we got a uh, freshman stepping up for us, Brad Bartles. He just recently joined. He's doing good. Uh, Clark, we got a few, few, few young guys out there, actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, our tight end just recently went down. Another senior went down as a wide out. So those young guys are stepping up in big ways. Yeah. Do you see yourself passing a little bit more as the year goes on? Oh, yeah. Because everyone's going to load the box so they see I'm getting the ball a lot. So they're going to load the box, and that's when I spread the ball out to everyone. So do you feel like you're able to make adjustments first quarter, halftime, that sort of mm -hmm. thing on oh, yeah. what your offensive scheme is? Uh, definitely within the first half, uh, it's kind of just go to where I'm supposed to go, but then within the second half, I kind of feel where the defense is playing on those run plays, and that's where I can bounce it out or cut back lanes. Yeah, so tell us about that. You know, you, you feel where the defense is. How long does it take for you to really get to know where their strengths are? And how much is that what you saw in film versus what you're experiencing you know, seven, eight minutes mm -hmm. into the game? Film does help, but and whenever it's game time, you don't know where they're going to play. So usually like a quarter and a half is whenever, like just feel it out, and then I go from there. So at that point, you've played a quarter and a half. You know now things you didn't know at the beginning of the yeah. game. Yeah, definitely. Right, so, so you caught, this This is where, you know, maybe they're strong on the left, mm -hmm. so therefore you know more often you're going to go to the right. Or, yeah. you know, how, how do you end up working that out or figuring that out. And is there discussions? Do you have discussions with other players, your coaches, or do you just know it and you just do it? Uh, more discussions um, at discussions and knowing and doing. Uh, you know, if I remember a play from earlier on in the game, I'm like, all right, I could have cut inside that play. So I'm gonna think about that as I'm running, you know, if I can cut back or bounce outside. And so you're a senior this year. Yeah. How is being a senior different than it has been first three years, confidence. even though you started? Definitely confidence. I'm feeling the most confidence I have in my six years of playing football. And how does that translate to being a team player with the rest of the group? Uh, having confidence boosts your morale, which then you can put upon your other teammates and help them get confidence going. That's, I think, what gets us rolling. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, you're, you're kind of a leader in the locker room, I, ass I assume. Yeah. Leader on the field. Where do you see that leadership 
working or how do you see yourself as a leader? What responsibility does that provide you? Uh, holding kids accountable, you know, if they're mouthing off to coaches, they got to stay back, run a little bit after practice, missing equipment, just stuff like that, even school issues that we have. Uh, we got me, Dalton Johnson, and Kyler Bourne, that's our three captains this okay. year. And then we have a fourth guy every week who steps up and goes out. But I think mainly discipline, and I think that's where we get most of our respect from. Yeah. And do you feel like that respect is coming more now, even though you have a broader group of yeah, because uh, I think we're seniors and everyone knows that. But like last year, we're like juniors, like, oh, he's a junior captain, you know, whatever. But I think this year, holding that senior title, I think that's what helps. So then you go into week two, uh, get started off pretty good, but yeah. rougher game. Yeah. Hard, I mean, what, what was that like? And, and where did, you know, with your senior leadership, how did you have to approach it throughout uh, the game and if you, after you know, the game? You know, first half, we played pretty well. It was pretty close. And then we came out halftime and we knew that game was getting out of reach and I just had a it's not how you finish the game on the scoreboard it's how you finish the game with your morale mm -hmm. so we just told everyone you know keep your head up make positive plays and we got to move on the week three mm -hmm. and what was it like let's say after that game whether it was the weekend I mean is, is there chatter amongst everybody is it, you know going into Monday Tuesday what's the conversation like and, and at what point do you feel like you got okay we lost to okay, we're overcoming that, and, and you get that morale back a little Honestly, bit. Honestly, that night, uh, Sunday night, because we, we have a football group chat, and we all just talk in there, you know, telling each other, keep our heads up, you know, everyone makes mistakes, we're fine, we just got to back, back, bounce back, and come back and win next week. So you felt like by Monday, yeah. you're all right, uh, re-centered, focused. The page. Okay. And then, so then, talk about then the last game. Bridgeport Bulldogs, you went down there last year, mm -hmm. played a tough game. It was really a good game, yeah. but th they pulled that out. This time it was a lot more domination. Yeah, uh, for me personally, it was more of uh, I took it personally because you know there was talk on social media. I don't talk unless people talk to me, but they were already talking before the game, so I took that game personal. So, so you were ready to go. I was ready. Yeah. Yeah, and now you're looking at league play. Yeah. All right. So, um, what, what what's your anticipation? How are you preparing for the league as a whole? Uh, like Coach said, we got to keep our, we got to stay humble because. Out of league games really don't matter. I mean, it's in league that counts because, uh, you know, a lot of teams stack their uh, out of league conference games. So we just got to keep our head down and watch film and come ready to work. Yeah. What are you anticipating for this week as far as what your, what your team's going to do and what your offensive line and that sort of thing? Uh, I think same, same thing as we have been. Just work our butts off, come ready, game plan, yeah. do what we do. So we talked a little bit about your receivers. What about your, your line? Oh, all five of them. I, they're, all, they're all amazing at what they do. Uh, they're all big, strong, fast guys. So, I mean, can't ask for much more. Seems like they're opening more holes oh, for yeah, you, definitely. protecting you more when you're back to mm -hmm. pass. That's got to be a nice change as everybody's grown yeah. from what it was a few years ago and as it's evolved. Yep, having all four of those linemen uh, recently, uh, or one tackle, he played last year. Oh, he came season late, five games. Uh, so having him back and just having him more experience helps us a lot. Because he's a big boy. Good, good. And, and then, so finally, what, what do you think you want the fans to know about this team? What, what's the one thing you would say? If they can remember this, they got the team. Uh, that we're really appreciative of everyone coming out and supporting us no matter win or loss. Yeah, awesome. All right, player profile with two-time EOAC Player of the Week. And we're just getting started. Owen Yuri Thank you.